she is just not intimidated at all. So we're here at New Shady Rest Campground. The two foot towers here are the result of underground springs in the lake. Further upstream you go, the warmer it gets. So we're here at New Shady Rest Campground. It's one of our favorite campgrounds in the Mammoth area because it's right across the street from Mammoth. But once you get in the campground, you can't even tell that you're in the city of Mammoth. It just seems like a regular campground. It is so smoky today because of the creek fire. So it's supposed to be better tomorrow. We're optimistic. We're here to see some beautiful fall colors and not so much smoke. We're on a pretty... <laughs> I can take my mask off. We're on a pretty steep incline, so we're using Legos. Hi, Adrian. This is site 70, and it's very unlevel. Doug was just saying that all the other sites in here are very level, but this one we're, we're really struggling with, even with our Legos. The Legos are coming apart, so now he's got to back up off of them and um, try again. We're finally level. See, Doug used all the Legos. Oh dear. I'm totally not afraid. That is just so bizarre. She knows the leash rule. Dog's on a leash. She is just not intimidated at all by Trinity. No, Trin. So the deer are friendly. So we're at the Convict Lake Resort and we didn't go far enough. So we gotta go down to the trailhead. Yeah, so we decided to try this time going counterclockwise around Convict Lake. I think it's a little better because then you're building up and seeing more colors as you go. If you go clockwise, you see all the colors right in the beginning and then it's kind of disappointing the last half of the hike. They have a boat launch here. Looks like a good place to launch your boat or your kayak. So the hike around the lake is three miles if you start from the marina, but where we started, we ended up doing 4.8. She hasn't seen many dogs yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> A pub salad with blue cheese. Sure. Awesome. And you have a table already? Yeah, we're outside. We outside. Yeah. We have a dog. How is it? Awesome. I got the pale ale. Good. It was a bit of a wait on the salad, but they gave me a free beer. There's <laughs> your salad. 
<laughs> Merci. Mm, yum, yum. We're at the Sherwin Lakes Trailhead today and we're we'll gonna be hiking Sherwin Lakes. The great thing about this trail is it's really close to New Shady Rest where we're camped. We didn't make it to the lakes. We made it about a mile and a half up. It was switchbacks and I'm getting over being sick. And there weren't any fall colors up there. Maybe there are at the lakes, but on the way up there wasn't anything. So we decided to head back down. And we're gonna walk the creek trail and enjoy the fall colors on the creek trail. It's a three mile hike, switchbacks, to get to the lake. So it's six miles round trip. Back behind the restrooms there's a road that you can walk back on and there's some fall colors back there because the creek's back there. But you get to private property and you can't go any further. sure why. Kind of shallow. That's okay, it's warm. The further upstream you go, the warmer it gets. It's just barely ankle high. <laughs> About. So I think all the sediment washed down in here and filled it all up. We've just got some amazing views up here. It's incredible, the fall colors. Also, we have Mono Lake in the background. Tufa Towers here are the result of underground springs in the lake bubbling up into a salt lake that as those two combined it just created a tower formation that you see all around the lake. So I was asked about the Save Mona Lake project. So from what I understand, back in the 20s and 30s, LA started diverting water from the eastern Sierras here to Los Angeles as part of the LA Aqueduct project. So water is diverted from all the creeks that fed the lakes on this side. And as a result, the lake waters receded um, to the point where the tufa became exposed. So the Save Mona Lake project, its purpose was to stop the water diversion and restore the lakes to its natural levels. I believe that started about 20 years ago and the lakes are slowly rising closer to the natural levels. But as you can see, they're still way below. This, the natural water level is above this icebox tufa right here. And if you can see where the lake level is, 
um, that's how much further we have to go. So Bob stayed here at Monte Vista RV Park in Levining and then we met up with him and walked over to the trailhead and then hiked the trail. So that's kind of cool. It looks like they bring you a trailer. Um, you order a trailer and they bring it to your campsite. So that is way cool. If you don't have a trailer, maybe you just want to try one out. I think it'd be a really good idea. And then you have somebody bring it to your campsite and they park it and level it. And then you just get in and enjoy camping. I like that. So we got a Tacoma with a four wheel camper. And they are leveled out right there. Good job. These people aren't here for us to ask them about their zombie response outbreak team, but I want to be part of that team for sure. Interesting campground. They had a Tapui tent going on there. I'm not really sure what the design is on that um, RV, but it's very cool. Very cool. Love the red too. Check out Mono Lake in the background. <laughs> this is interesting too. We're here at Walker Burger and it is Monday. <laughs> it's Monday and it is 2 p.m. and it's still crazy packed. People all over. It's our favorite place to eat though. Walker Burger is our favorite place to eat on 395. It's nice that they have the outdoor seating here so it can have Trinity outside and Check out all the cool sculptures at Walker Flea Market. It's right across the street from Walker Burger. 